don't buy this stock until you watch this analysis. I'm going to lay out the metrics and tell you whether it's a buy or bust. We're going to answer two questions in this video. Is the business any good and should you buy the stock right now? First, is the business any good? Is it profitable, stable, and most importantly, making you money? In order, the PE ratio deals with the amount of speculation surrounding the business. If it's too high, it means too many investors are speculating on the price and overvaluing it relative to how much it earns. As low as possible is ideal. Earnings growth accounts for the next five years the business is slated to grow. Ideally, we want high growth, but this usually comes to a high PE ratio. But high growth means the company is still innovating. Profit margins tell us how efficient the business is at keeping what it makes. We also want this to be high. A high profit margin business is assurance that the business has pricing power and brand name, which builds an economic moat. Return on equity goes hand in hand with profit margins. It tells us how well the company is using its money. You want a high ROE. This fuels higher profit margins, which increases growth. Then there's the dividend yield, which I believe is the most important metric as an investor. A dividend enables you to generate passive income from the company cash straight to your pockets in order to fuel other investments and your lifestyle. A higher dividend yield is ideal for any business. When we put these five metrics together, we can answer the question whether the business is any good. A score of zero means a failed business and a 10 making it a one in a million business. A score of five is considered average. This is just one of hundreds of other companies I've graded. If you want access to that spreadsheet, which is updated all the time, join my Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. Next, should you buy the stock right now, independent of the business? We all have different investment time horizons, so I split things up based on how long you plan to hold the stock. A short-term investor will look for a low relative strength index, ideally below 30. The holding period of short-term investors are often a month or less. A near-term investor will look for a negative 50-day simple moving average, ideally as far negative as possible. The holding period for near-term investors are often less than one year. A long-term investor will not only consider the business, but also look for a negative 200-day simple moving average, ideally a very low number. The holding period for long-term investors are more than a year, often decades even. Lastly, if you want absolute value, you can average out all three time horizons. This will ensure you're getting a bargain price for your investment. If you found this analysis helpful, subscribe for more. Invest wisely and as always, take care of your money.